morning. I hope you had a great weekend, everybody. It's Monday, it's art day, it's time to try something new. And today I'm going to play with the August edition of the Art Box, and the topic is glass design. So I'm gonna play because I've never tried this before. Um, it looks reasonably easy. Um, but, well, I could still maybe not make it. I don't know. Um, this was in the box. So four of these tiny sponges, uh, glass effect gels in different colors. This is rose opaque, graphite, crimson, um, and 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 sea green and uh, there is a satiné matte glass kind of thing with mother of pearl and then there is a ceramic effect matte in this cream white color here so what you could do supposedly is something like this so those cloudy um, designs and uh, do that with different colors and it says here in the how-to description these are by the way the two sets that are available and I do have this one here um, there's a step-by-step -step with it uh, you're supposed to dab the effect gel uh, the satiné and the ceramic effect with a sponge very lightly to have this cloudy kind of thing going on and you can also squeeze it directly for patterns. Um, it supposedly dries for uh, in three or four hours which is pretty long when you need to wait four hours for every layer to dry. So I'm gonna try something like a blow dryer maybe. Um, but yeah, this is what came in the box and I brought a few rubber gloves because I don't want to screw up my fingers with that color like I did with the fabric painting that stained for weeks. And I don't want that because, uh, well, I don't, just don't want that. But I also brought three glasses that I could use as candle holders or something, two tiny bottles and uh, one medium bottle. They're all washed and cleaned and I went over those bottles with a paint thinner to remove any glue residue from the labels. And uh, I also have this tiny plastic sheet here. This is uh, from a miniature board game. Um, it's uh, ex actually from um, X-Wing. If anybody of you plays that or played that, I'm gonna have a bit of a cardboard underneath just to reduce the glare and see things. So this is my palette and uh, I can now try to design my glasses. So first things first, a uh, sip of tea, because <laughs> sip of tea. <laughs> Uh. So why I'm doing this today is because tomorrow is my wedding anniversary and uh, when this video comes out two weeks earlier I published a taco clock uh, video which is my vlog format and uh, there I probably will have shown you the preparation of uh, the festivities um, like uh, I, I uh, did create um, a three course meal and I also thought about table decorations and stuff and the colors this year are light green cream or white and uh, brown and uh, last year, for example, they were white and purple. Uh, I'm changing things up pretty much every year just to, well, make it nice. Um, so for the table decoration, um, 
actually the uh, green and graphite would fit really well with the satiné. These three colors, the pinks or purples, not so much. Only if I maybe apply them as um, like a contrasting color or if I use them to mix with the green to make things darker maybe because these colors are mixable. So I want to have these two and these three. I want to have them on the table so I can play with this one and try with this one which is what I'm gonna do first um, with the pinks and purples because I'm not planning to have those on the table but still it is pretty cool to try things out. So I'm gonna take one rubber glove here on my right hand because this is gonna be the hand that I'm gonna hold things with uh, like the bottle. Um, so I will probably screw myself on that hand. And I'm going to take uh, the rose color and don't know how much, but well, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. And a bit of the, uh, of the crimson, the darker color. And I'm gonna start with uh, the darker, no, let's start with the lighter and get towards the darker color. So I'm just gonna have some on the glass and see. Oh, that is very see-through, okay. Oh, still. So this is a slow project because you probably have to layer and layer and layer. So I'm still having somewhat of those sponges so I can pretty much have one sponge per color. Because I don't need to flip this over and have the crimson on the other side because I have enough of the sponges. So let's go with a darker color on this part here and see. See how that goes. It's fairly easy when it comes to the technique. Um, it's probably just one of those longer projects because you have to layer things, uh, as you can see here. Still quite the see-through. I'm far away from the cloudy, uh, cloudy look, but that is totally fine. Just gonna mix it here on that rim. And then I'm going to go right over with the next layer and see if it does anything or if it um, if it doesn't sit on the glass as well as I think it might, though things are still wet and I just have it on my finger. Great. <laughs> Maybe I need two gloves. I don't know. So let's go with some more color here. It's fairly warm in my studio, so I don't know if that helps with um, with the things drying rather fast or if it doesn't matter. So it says the paint is dry in three or four hours and then you can wash those glasses or bottles by hand. 
And uh, if you want this to stay nice longer, you should bake it in the oven for about half an hour um, at 160 degrees Celsius. Um, so I'm not sure yet if I need to bake it or not because these are going to be candle holders or decoration holders for every now and then. But say I would really like what I'm doing here and I would choose that as gifts for people, I would definitely bake it. So it layered right away on the upper part here. You can see it's way milkier. Can you see? Yes, you can see. I'm okay with uh, frame this time around. So you can pretty much layer this wet on wet and get darker results right away. You don't need to wait four hours, which is very good. Otherwise, I don't know if I would like this kind of art if I would have to wait four hours for things to dry on every layer. So I'm definitely digging this here. So I think the dark one needs even more. Yeah, I think the dark one needs one more layer, but not the lighter part. That's actually, I really like that. So I'm gonna take... So I'm going to take the darker crimson color one more time and go around it. Now I'm not being uh, very frugal with the uh, gel here because I really want this to darken up fast. And I think... Uh, it's fine when you dab it on with a sponge and you can pretty much just uh, control where things go by, well, moving the sponge, dabbing things. Therefore, spreading the supply evenly on your glass. So let's see, it feels kind of sticky, which is cool, because that would mean that it sits on the glass very well and does already react, which I'm not complaining about. All right, so I'm going to put this to the side now, let it sit, and uh, I'm going to think about do I want the ceramic on top. Yeah, why not? Let's get the bottle back. Let's try this part as well. Um, hmm. Said something to read here. I really like that company for the way they have instructions on all their products. They just open the label. Uh, it has to be dry. Okay, so no effect yet. So let's screw this on here and finish reading. Uh, Jesus Christ. 
So, oh gosh, <laughs> I'm unable to work with that label. Um, da, 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 da. So it says, the surface must be dry, clean and free of grease. Stir thoroughly before use. First step, apply thinly as an adherent la layer with a brush or dab thinly with a sponge and allow to dry. In the second step, brush on or dab on top on the top layer and lightly sand after drying. Alternatively, obtain the glaze-like look. Apply a glossy seal. No, I'm not having a glossy seal, so I don't have to read that. Meaning, I can now think and uh, I'm try gonna try to uh, dry this a bit faster with a blow dryer. Let's see if that works. Moment of truth. Oh yeah, so I had the blow dryer at this for maybe four or five minutes. And this feels and looks dry, so I can go over it and there's nothing rubbing off. Awesome! So now I should stir this, uh, it says. Oh. Oh, this is kind of soft. Okay, I'm having a chance to stir this. I just need um, a stirring tool. Do I have a wooden piece or something? Not really. No, I don't. So I'm going to take... Uh, a straw not the ideal thing but this is a rather heavy straw and I don't have anything else to stir this with up here in my studio so I'm gonna make do I don't know how smooth this has to be, but it's set thoroughly. So I'm gonna follow the instructions. Be quite thorough <laughs> with uh, stirring this. So this should be fine. Now I can take another sponge and uh, dab it in here. Have it softly on the on the sponge. And let's see what it does. Okay, so it does really go for the ceramic look, which is cool in this case here, because I have those dents in my glass. I can actually also go something like this. Okay, I think I know what to do with that to have some cool effects. So I could go either really heavily on the ceramic look or I can go really lightly and have just like a milky thing going on. All right, test uh, bottle to the side. 
Now I want to see if I can clean this off because I would like to use that palette for the um, for the colors that I need. Oh, this dries really fast here. Hoo -hoo. Wow. All right. So uh, drying time is not really an issue here. <clears throat> so I can put the pink sponges back. Um, I'm gonna get my other sponges to cut them in right away. So I need, I do have the ceramic and I need three more sponges. I already have one, so I just need two more. So let's cut that in half. Ouch. All right. So let's see. I want, what do I want first? I think I want to go and think what I want. So these should be dark green. So the sea green with maybe some gray. Um, and the, so the bottles I want satinay, uh, what is the what is the mother of pearl with gray and for these here I want some green so I'm going to start with bottles and go for the mother of pearl with the uh, graphite all right what does it say for you it's the same thing I think and it's a satiné look, so I want to go light and then ombre look too dark. So I am... Do I need to shake this? Yeah, I need to shake this. So I'm going to start with the light color. Shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it. All right, that should be fine, I think. So let's... Put this stuff here. Ooh, it has really like a uh, pearl, pearly look. Pearly, pearly. It's so pearly. So I'm going to go in with my sponge again. Uh, this is way thinner. All right. And this time around, I'm going to. Uh, dab only the second layer but for the first layer I'm just gonna go with a solid solid application of the mother of pearl and then I can dab Okay, uh, really hold it well for the bottom. Okay, also the rim. So I'm going to place it here very carefully and do the same thing with the second bottle. One solid application of the satiné and then dabbing. If 
think I need a smidge more, just a little bit. Or do I need maybe a second layer? Yeah, I think I could have a second layer. So I'm going to take a bit more and uh, try to apply it onto the other side of the bottle. So carefully placing this here. And, oh, that's a lot, but well, you can see you can really spread the gel. And this one here is very fluid, way more than the others. So I'm going to put you here carefully, go in at the first bottle once more and carefully apply the second layer all over Also on the bottom. Okay. Place it here very carefully and back to the first. Some more here. No, we gotta let those dry. For a hot second, maybe I can use my blow dryer on it from a distance. All right. Uh, there it is, and uh, I'm going to apply the final layer of the satin, and then I'm going in with graphite also. I'm just gonna put this on top here. I'm going just for the upper half to have that uh, mother of pearl and now so here on that bottle The graphite. And a new sponge. Spongy wonky. Um yeah. I'm gonna take this one. Ooh. Okay, and I'm gonna start at the bottom because I have this blob on here and there you don't see anything that is maybe a bit uneven. Oh, but this is really going quite evenly. Let's see how well this behaves when I try to ombre that. 
It's a very subtle graphite. I would have thought would be way stronger, but it's not. Uh, at least not on top of the satin uh, color here. That's nice. So you can go with rather subtle shadings, which I'm quite fond of, I have to say. All right, more graphite. So I want a bit more oomph. And also there is a second bottle. So. But you can go really, really light. That is awesome. It's nice to be able to do that kind of ombre look if you want it. Turn this a bit. So there I would have bottle number one. A bit splotchy here, so. Put it down carefully and go to bottle number two with a bit more graphite. I'm actually thinking this could be something for my Christmas presents this year. Let's see. It's a really nice way to upcycle glass. I mean, we get mostly plastics today in today's supermarkets as packaging, but if you can upcycle things like that, I think that would be cool. Going back to the first glass, because I'm having still a bit more here. On the palette to be sponged on, so I'm going to do that. more. <laughs> All right, so the graphite is done. And uh, now I can put those bottles away to the side to let them dry. Because I don't want to change anything on them for now. Maybe have a little pattern later on, but probably not. Probably I want to have them a bit more, um, well, let's say not so spectacular because there's going to be green greenery in there. Uh, but now I need another... I need another 
clean of my palette because I want to have some seaweed green and I want to go in I don't need that anymore oh sorry but I want to have those glasses be green gray and white so that ceramic thing I want to play with that um, but let me take a sip of tea and think about uh, how I want to design the glasses. So... First of all, I want to have a new glove because there's a lot of uh, pearl on there. Don't necessarily want the pearl. So I'm thinking how about drying my hand first. I need to put away my, my rings because they make it harder to get into the glove. So I'm thinking, um, how about I play on two of them with the seaweed green on one of them with the graphite and have the ceramic effect on all of them. Can I please now get into my glove here? Alright, um, so let's start with the seaweed then. Seaweed. Gonna need quite a bit of that. And the new sponge. Hmm. Ooh, that's quite the bluish green. All right, that's going to be interesting. Going to give this a thin layer. Um, I don't want it as opaque as I did the um, satin A bottles and stuff because I don't. I want to have the candlelight go through. So to be a bit more careful with how much layers or how many layers I put on here but I'm gonna dab on one a bit more so kind of have it evenly um, evenly put on. Right, that's a nice color. I like that. It's almost like a turquoise. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna 
dry that off camera now. Okay, so I should be able to touch this. Okay, so I can put that down. Go on to the next glass. That's also gonna be the sea green. I really like that color. This is a great color. It might just be enough of a contrasting color on my table setting tomorrow. Don't roll. So I need to have some more. Of that sea green. Not too much because I just have to have half a glass. There we go. Go for the bottom as well. that's quite even but I'm having some more on my palette here so I'm just gonna dab it on maybe also here there we go going to dry this again off camera okay number two And uh, there's my gray, there's my gray. Going in with the graphite. Just, I've got to clean this first, just to not have things mixed. You can see here how fast this actually is. I mean, I'm like 45 minutes in and uh, I have two bottles done. I had a test piece and I'm having the base coat down on two more pieces. Uh, and I'm working on the third. That's really fast for a project like this. I like that. This is really something um, I could maybe really work with for either Christmas, gifts, or I don't know, just a housewarming gift or bringing something with you when you visit somebody or a thank you gift or something. I can really see this being a reasonably uh, effort, I mean, time-wise, 
and still you make something really cool and you can customize it to whatever um, to whatever event you need this for so I really like that I'm gonna look for other colors too all right so let's dry this off camera as well all right Okie dokie. Now, uh, on to the ceramic effect. Did I not have a sponge for that? Hmm, don't remember. It's probably the one with the satin on it, so I'm just gonna take this sponge here. And, uh... bit of texture. I just want the top now. Don't want to sponge anything here on the lower end. So I'm going to do something like this maybe. I think this would be better for a sponge with a softer edge, so I'm going to take the back from the pink one. Just use that. I'm getting pink all over my hands, but well, okay. Guess that's fine. Just really going in on the base here. Don't want this to be very high, really lower third, so to say. And I have to cut this pink upper piece. It's really not helping. Go to the trash. And here we go.
So this is the part where the candle will sit. So this is not let's go not any higher with the ceramic. green because I want to go on top a little bit um, let's see green there we go Okay, so I'm going to leave it as it is. Now you can see there's uh, like an opaque part and then the transparent part and that is because the ceramic is there. has some sprinkles here too, so I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with the other glass here. Okay, and uh, adding a little bit of sea green on top, just a smidge. And I hope both of this goes away later, because otherwise I would have needed to have two. Um, gloves instead of one. I thought I would get away with one, but obviously not. I'm going to 
add this. little bit more see green where are you there you are oh. Oh, excuse me Ooh. <laughs> some more here Let that sit and dry and go for the gray. So here. say solid but a bit uh, more opaque with the ceramic on the bottom Let this dry. I can close this. And need a bit of the graphite gel. All right, that is that. Now I can actually clean off my desk a bit and then going to let this dry and add the final decorations. Okay. Now. Am I best gonna do that? Uh, well, I just gotta freestyle it. So I'm going 
got monochrome here, so color on color. And I'm just gonna try and make the decorational lines here. It's more like waves because I'm not really good at um, having straight lines, but I think it's fine in this case because it is a green and it could be waves. I think something like a turntable would uh, really be beneficial for having straight lines. number one and same for this one here And some more dots. Okay, I'm going to clean off the nozzle and now I need the graphite. What do I want to do with you? And I think with you I want just some lines. I'm trying to space them quite equally, so I'm going uh, always to the opposite side. Okay. 
And, um, ooh, don't throw anything, Sarah. Don't throw anything. And just have the lines go pretty much on the same same direction there, uh, meaning space-wise being equally distributed. And Turntable, again, would be quite beneficial. are the lines now I want three dots in each section and it's really hard to concentrate on the work and talk <laughs> so sorry for not really saying much this video I think it's even less than usual but it's I, I have to concentrate a bit more when I'm doing something that I've never tried before and I don't um, want to screw up so I gotta be a bit more careful there. And I spiraled downwards with the dots, so that's not too great. Good well. There we go. All the dots. Gonna let all of them dry now for the four hours that are suggested and then I'm going to put them onto my table tomorrow so these are the bottles and uh, these are the candle holders and here's the thing that I tried first really has a ceramic a ceramic -y feel to it can hear that um, yeah but I really like the idea of upcycling your own glass like this here yeah I really like it I'm gonna look into um, more colors maybe for for um, the whoop don't throw it for those products. Gonna, can you see? I'm not even in frame with everything. Sorry, folks. There we go. I'm gonna um, look for more colors of these glass effect gels and see if there's other sets or something because I really like them. This was a great art box, and uh, if you want to. Um, take a look at the art box. Um, it's for when you live in Germany, Switzerland or Austria. 
the link's gonna be in the description box below or you go to Instagram the art boxes and you can find stuff there I really enjoyed this one and um yeah, I, I hope you did too. Maybe you like the idea of upcycling your own glass and, uh, well, uh, wanna, wanna look at the products. I'm gonna have the, um, the blog post, uh, up, uh, with all the materials and the names and such, and also some close up photos of those once they are dry and everything. So you can check that out on my web webpage. Also, the webpage is in the description box below, so you can see the link there as well as my social media sites where I'm uh, uh, I'm present. And I'm gonna see you next Monday with a new project on Art Day. Enjoy, have a wonderful week, and um, take good care. Thanks very much. Bye bye.